How is this superior to this? The best redesign of the entire franchise has to be Professor Paradox. No, 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 no. You can't make him look like that. Ladies and jellyfish, alone. So a lot of you guys watched my Omniverse redesigns video, and I mean a lot of you. I could not be more appreciative. So you guys wanted more, and here's more. Luckily, last video I missed out on a bunch of aliens and a slew of secondary and tertiary characters from Ben 10, mostly focusing on the main aliens and characters. So today, why don't we go back with part two of the Ben 10 Omniverse redesigns to see if they're good, bad, or just plain ugly. Let's go. <laughs> Starting with the aliens I missed out on last time, let's start with Wildvine. I'm honestly with most people here and thinking that the first design is better. I love the blue eye, the more slim body physique and color dynamics, and just think the original design looks a little more slick. The Omniverse design looks a little too big for my liking, especially horizontally. For Boss Shock, one of my least favorite aliens, I will at least concede that the original design is pretty good. I'm not a fan of the Omniverse redesign, and I think the close voting should have been won by the Classic series and not Omniverse, because the Omniverse design is just so simplistic, while the Classic series offers more color texture like his eyes and the top of his head, as well as more white in the game, rather than all green. One goes to the classic. Arctic Guana was one of my least favorite aliens as well, and was barely used in both shows, albeit more used than Omniverse. His Omniverse design is superior, and I have to go with the voting on this one. For Ghost Freak, a lot of people were upset that I didn't include him in the last video, and I honestly just forgot. He's the only character to have four designs throughout the franchise, with A representing Alien Force and B representing Ultimate Alien in this voting chart. Omniverse seems to have won most of the votes, but I completely disagree. I think the simplistic look of the classic series looks the best, followed by probably Alien Force's design with the purple look. Although to be fair, Alien Force made Ghost Freak look a lot more like scare, which is a different story. Ultimately, I don't think the Omniverse redesign is bad, but as a ghost, you gotta go with the simplistic look, honestly. If I was to judge Ghost Freak's design here, though, I would say the classic series is pretty predictable as a ghost. So if we're judging it off originality, I think the metaphor of having chains around him fit a lot better in Omniverse, so it's a close tie, but I'll just go with the classic series myself. Getting into some of the tertiary characters, I'll start with Albedo. It's pretty much identical to Ben, but obviously with the gray hair and the red jacket. While it is a close vote, I'll just go with the UAF version, since I also prefer that ourselves with Ben anyway. I didn't know whether to include Kai since she has two different ages, but either way, the Omniverse design is superior, with the red and white jumpsuit and the ponytail. For Julie, the voting seems to be split pretty heavily towards Ultimate Alien Force, and I would agree. While she does look pretty nice in both designs, I just prefer the haircut in the original, and the UAF art style just fits more in line with Julie's character, rather than giving her the simplistic big eyes like an Omniverse. Moving on to Charmcaster, it seems the Omniverse version got the most votes here, and I completely disagree. I'd go with Ultimate Alien Force myself, because I mean, come on, she's pretty hot. While Taya gets minimal appearances in Ultimate Alien Force, I still included her here, but obviously her Omniverse design is superior, even though she looks pretty similar in both versions. The more detail on the face, the more slender body physique fits a lot better. For Azmuth, the only one I really don't like is the Secret of the Omnitrix one, and choosing between Ultimate Alien Force and Omniverse was really tough for me. There's very minimal differences, but in Omniverse he gets a bit more detail on his face, and his skin color changes slightly. I just personally lean more towards the Ultimate Alien Force version, to be honest, but that could have swayed either way. Ben's mom, Sandra, has had a few different designs throughout the franchise, and the only one that looks good is Ultimate Alien Force. It seems like most people agree with me, and yeah, the other two just don't look good, I don't know how to say it. The classic version makes her look like she's 17, and the Omniverse version looks like a Karen. For Jimmy Jones, the design does change slightly, giving him more of a redhead look in Omniverse. While I do love both designs, to be honest with you, I still think his UAF version is superior, and it seems like the voting agrees with me. Here it is. Professor Paradox. The best redesign of the entire franchise has to be Professor Paradox. Paradox. While I honestly love both designs, Omniverse just expanded so much on this character, making him look older, wiser, and giving him this cool as hell outfit. The cane, the round glasses, the golden trunks or whatever they are, and the gauntlet looks so sick. And his face as well, oh man, much better. I don't know if anyone can vote for the Omniverse redesign of Ultimate Humongousaur. Seriously, who the hell voted for this? How is this superior to this? By the way, I do understand that that is the negative version of Ultimate Humongousaur, but leaving the red color aside, just the way the armor plated his entire body doesn't look good at all. Why does he have so many horns? He's not a dinosaur! Well, he might be a dinosaur actually, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> but the green and blue design is just so much better. Sometimes simplicity rules out, and in this case, 
rules out heavily in my eyes. Ultimate Spider Monkey was the only one that I'd say was the closest between the three ultimates, because while I do like the original Ultimate Spider Monkey, his long pointed legs just look really awkward in frame, and the way Omniverse just made him a giant gorilla with like eight feet is just a lot better in my eyes. I still pick the UAF version, to be honest, but it's not horrendous like we did it to Ultimate Humongosaur. Oh, my boy Ultimate Echo Echo! No, 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 no. You can't make him look like that. The darker shade of blue, the wires all over him, the weird face shape. Why did they change it so much? The original was perfect. Why did over 20 of you vote for this? I gotta save my sanity and just move on. For Eon, I was originally gonna vote for the Omniverse version, but looking at that face, no. While the UAF version barely has any screen time and doesn't even look that special, still looks better than this. I'm sorry, moving on. Point goes, the UAF. Volcanus. Did anyone else forget that Volcanus was in the classic series? I just remember that he was in that superhero episode, and all three of his designs have actually been pretty good. I'd say his Omniverse design was the weakest, but between the classic and the UAF version, I'd honestly go with classic. I'm not gonna lie. The spikes all over his shoulders look really cool, and he just looks more menacing in the classic series. And this is coming from a giant UAF nerd. One goes to classic. For the Vredel brothers, not much has changed, but I'd say their design was much better in Ultimate Alien Force. Octagon's face being all droopy does not look good, and neither does Romboid's neckbeard, or whatever that is. This weirdly close resemblance is still beaten out by UAF. Siphon, another one of the cleanest redesigns of Omniverse. Omniverse gets a heavy vote here, and I agree. While the classic version makes him much be smaller, which makes sense in the story, considering in Omniverse he basically works for himself and not Vilgax anymore, he just looks so much cooler as a tall, big villain. And his face shape is absolutely much better in Omniverse. One goes to the new. As for his scare, he also has pretty good designs throughout the franchise. All three are pretty good in my eyes. This one was super hard for me to pick, but I'd probably go with the classic version myself. The face could be a little larger, but I just really prefer those color dynamics. Omniverse's version is good too, but it's a little too clean and not scary enough for most of the old. Michael Morningstar, Darkstar. I mean, come on guys. What the hell is this? It's not a horrendous redesign, but the original is much better. I'm sorry. One goes to UAF. As for Hex, I don't really like any of his designs. If it was possible to not vote for either of them, I would. But just for the sake of argument, I'll give it to the classic series. Dr. Animal's designs have been pretty good throughout the franchise, and it was honestly really hard for me to pick. For me, this one is really between the classic series and Omniverse, and after careful deliberation, I'll have to give it to Omniverse for this one. The taller, more slender physique with the brain being visible and the red glasses, while looking pretty similar to the classic series, it's just a little cooler. Definitely beats the weird Jack the Void that we got in Ultimate Alien Force. And lastly, the final tertiary character that got a redesign throughout all three versions was Zombozo, whose design has actually remained pretty good throughout the franchise, I will say. While I do love the Omniverse redesign, the classic is just so good, dude. I can't betray the classic. One goes to the old. And that's about it with the Omniverse Redesigns Part 2. Here's the stats in terms of my voting and the Discord voting for each show, so you can see the trends in whether or not Omniverse won overall. But much more importantly than all this, what do you think? Which redesigns do you personally find more attractive and why? Let me know all that in the comments down below, and be sure to like and share the video to support me. If you somehow missed out on Part 1, be sure to go and watch that right now with the link in the description below. And while I probably won't be making a Part 3 of this series, I got way more Ben 10 content and other animation content coming to the channel very soon, so be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on to see those. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you beautiful ladies and jellyfish next time. Shalom!